Okay, so we will go through this meter first, uh, GX8000, yeah? Yes. yes. So GX8000, we have two. And this is 8700, this is only for actually company has supplied, this is additional one. Yeah. This is only for Chi also to use sometimes to cross check few gases. Otherwise for normal tank entries and all, you will use the GX8000. Okay. Okay. Same gases are detected. Excuse, excuse. Uh, only this one will not detect CO. So this one you can never use for enter space. Mm. So, for normal, uh, for everybody, uh, I mean for the deck guys and uh, engine guys. So you see this calibration and monthly routine is done by me. So you don't need to bother about it. Only when you are going to use it on deck or in engine room in <coughs> any enclosed space. So first you have to do air cal. Yeah? Yes. So how you will do it? I already passed it. Air calibration. So you have to press, press reset and display. Okay, reset and display. So it will go on air cal. Then yes. you can enter and push here. I'm holding it. It is showing adjustment release. Yeah. Yeah, 30 seconds. To, uh, yeah, around 30 seconds to adjust the gases. Okay. And okay. Now another thing is calibration. So just up and down arrows and then you can go on one cal. Okay, one cal. One cal. Go on one cal, then there are gases. Same. Percentage LEL. Yes. Then you can change the gas by arrow. Percentage volume. O2. S2S. CO. Yeah. So all four uh, five gases are there. Yeah. So let's say you want to do percentage. LEL first, yeah. So then you will press enter. I am not going to do it now. I will show you something else. So percentage LEL you will do it, and then you will check your bottle. In bottle it is showing 50% LEL you have, yeah. So you have to connect uh, your tube here. In the this bottle is made up of which gases? This all this composition yes, is there. Multi gases. Multi gases. Yeah. Gases, okay. yeah. So then you will enter and you will adjust your value to 50% LEL if it is off of uh, value. Okay, so then one by one you have to adjust the gases. Yes. Percentage LEL you can do with this bottle. Also with this bottle you can do S2S and CO. 25 ppm and 50 ppm. So remaining will be hydrocarbon volume and oxygen. So oxygen will be done by nitrogen bottle. This is inside. And also hydrocarbon, we have separate bottle that is 10% volume is there. So three gases you can do from this bottle. You can do oxygen also, but uh, oxygen we have to do zero cal. Okay. So now I will show you something which we are doing monthly and you can check it any time. Okay. okay, this is bump test. So what is bump test? So bump test. If it passes, it will show exactly these values, 50% LEL. So in this bottle, you have the same values. Yeah. 50% LEL, 12% oxygen, CO 50 ppm, S2S 25 ppm, yes? So you have to apply the gas. Okay, now the back system is finished, yeah? So now we have something called new thing. It is called demand flow regulator. You see now everything is connected, but gas is not leaking. You see? Yeah. Only if you will suck it, then it will come. So this thing is having pump. So it will suck the gas through it. Otherwise the gas will not come out. Yes? You see there is no valve there is open, no valve, right? Yeah. As per demand only it will come. Yeah, it will, this one will suck the gas. Yes. Okay. So I have applied the gas now. Now we will see. Yeah. It will apply for 30 seconds something. And during bump test, what it is doing, it is doing auto cal also. Mm -hmm. So your gases it will bring to the nearest value of this one. It should be the same with this one. Mm. Okay. So, but this regulating valve is in auto. Okay, bump is finished. So bump is finished, that means it is ready to use. Now you have to purge it, so let it purge. So that 
feedings are not same as this bottle, then what will do? It will fail. Fail. Then you have to do calibration. Then you have to calibrate. What? Yeah. Then you have to do one by one each of the guests. The one kel through one. Yeah, through one kel. Okay. If bump test fails, then you have to do calibration. Okay, so this is with GX eight thousand. Okay. GX eight thousand. So before yeah. using, you will do ear cal yes. on deck and monthly routine. You can tell she also is doing all the bump test and everything. I am checking and calibration is three monthly. That also we are doing. Okay. And okay. Why this meter was provided? Because uh, you know there were a lot yes. of complaints for GX eight thousand because some of the cargo have high S two S going more than four hundred ppm, five hundred ppm. Yeah. And once hmm? this okay. once uh, if you use uh, this meter in high S two S cargo, all other sensor will get conked off. So you, it will never give you good readings. So the company has provided us this high S two S. So first you have to check your cargo if it is having high S two S content. Warm up, warm up. Thirty seconds, warm up. During inspection, all this one. So how? Okay. So when you will switch on this meter, it will go directly on high S two S mode. Directly. Yeah. As per procedure, so first we will uh, check if the cargo is having high S two S content. Then only we, then we will use only this meter. If it, uh, if it is low, less than fifty ppm or so, then we can use all three meters. This one also and this one also. So above fifty ppm we yeah we have this. to we have below to fifty ppm H two S we yeah we will use this. So I will turn it to the low mode now. So once you will turn it to low S two S mode, then it will show you three guesses: low S two S two S and this L E L and this O two. Yeah. So for this you don't have any bump test, but still you can use the same guess directly and you can check the values. If it is showing same values, it's okay. And this one is very simple. You see, calibration mode is written here only. So you have to press both these buttons. It directly goes to one cal. So same, one cal is same in both of this. So you have to do percentage LEL. Then you have to do percentage volume. O2. O2 is always done by which gas? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. S2S. You can use. Where is loose? Hey. S2S. From which gas you can do? Louis the Dewey. <laughs> okay. Also for high S2S, uh, we have another bottle, yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much. Yeah. Want to try something? Hmm? Okay, guys. I'm switching it off. Turn up. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking. If you will see here. Yeah. Yes, yes. Calibrating, everybody could this smell this S two S, right? Yes. And it was uh, around twenty five ppm. A strong order, correct? Because in bottle we have twenty five ppm. Yes. Even you can detect this gas by smell. Detector tube. Twenty five ppm, strong order. Fifty to hundred ppm. Sense of smell starts to break down. Prolonged exposure at 100 ppm, blah blah blah, improves in the severity of symptoms. Death may occur after 4 to 48 hours of exposure. See, in 100 ppm, 50 to 100 ppm, you can die within 22 days mm -hmm. after exposure. Yeah. 150 ppm, loss of sense of smell in 2 to 5 minutes. In 5 minutes only, you know. 350 ppm, we need to 30 minutes. 700 ppm is of course double, so maybe 15 minutes only. <laughs> okay. Adverse effect of S2S can be reversed, and the probability of saving the person life improved if prompt action is taken. So basically, you have to give medical oxygen and CPR and all that. You have to see here. Yeah? So what is the threshold value for all the gases? You see benzene. Benzene you should not have only one ppm. Sulfur dioxide is two ppm. H two S five ppm. CO thirty ppm. Yes. Hydrocarbon point five. No twenty five. Okay. So you don't have to buy out this, but you should know where is the receipt written. Yes. If somebody asks you, you should be able to sir. We will refer this page. Okay. This is 
This one you don't need. Uh, what do you call this? Filter. Then it was. Okay, I cannot find it here. Adjust it. The new one.